Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new GTA 5 online video on my channel. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Celestial Gaming HD, and hit post notifications to get notified on when I upload future GTA 5 online videos like this. So this is a brand new give cards to friends method, and it is really easy guys. So like I said, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop 150 likes on this video, as it is a very easy give cards to friends glitch. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need two friends, uh, you're going to need a bunker, you're going to need an MOC, and you're going to need a vehicle that you want to give to your friend if you're giving a car to your friend, alright? Now if you're receiving a car, you want to have a Fagio in the back of your MOC ready to go, and that's pretty much all you need guys. You guys need to both have the same bunker, it makes it more quicker, um, and that's pretty much it guys. So let's get on with this video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is have your friend invite you to his session. Alright, so if you're receiving a car from your friend, he is going to be the host of the session, and he is going to be the one to send you an invite. Alright, so have him start up an invite-only session, and you want to go ahead and have him send you an invite. Once he sends you an invite, uh, you simply want to make your way into your bunker and head to the back of your MOC. In the back of your MOC, you need a Fagio. Um, I said that before. Um, but yeah, you guys need a Fagio in the back of your MOC, and then you guys are pretty much ready to get a car, alright? So once you have this Fagio in the back of your MOC, just go ahead and pull it out and put it in the bunker, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to be inviting our friends to the bunker, okay? So we're just going to invite two of our friends to the bunker, and then once we invite our two friends that are helping us to the bunker, we are simply going to go ahead and wait for them to get in here, alright? So I've just invited my two friends to the bunker. I'm just waiting for them to get into the bunker um, so that one of them could get on the back of my bike and go on the PlayStation shark cards. And then one of them's going to be pushing me with a caddy. All right. So one friend is going to get on the back of your Fagio and, and he's going to sit on the PlayStation store on the shark cards. And there's going to be another friend that's going to be helping you. And he's going to get a caddy and he's going to be pushing you. All right. So like I said, make sure your friend gets on the back of your Fagio, and once your friend is on the back of your Fagio, have another friend get on a caddy. Once the friend on the back of your Fagio is on the PlayStation Shark Cards, you want to hit right D-pad to freeze, okay? Now once you're frozen, uh, you simply want to have the person on the caddy push you while you're spamming right D-pad so that you stay frozen, okay? So you just want to have them keep pushing you back all the way until you're past the yellow lines in the bunker, okay? So keep spamming right D-pad because uh, as you can see, I got unfroze and then I froze again by spamming right D-pad, right? So that's a good trick on how to stay frozen. So what you're pretty much going to do here is have him push you all the way back past the yellow lines. Um, in the bunker and once he pushes you back past the yellow lines he's just gonna go ahead and start up a job once he starts up a job you're gonna join him you're gonna get on the first alert and you're gonna wait on that first alert once once you're on the first alert you're gonna tell him to back out he's gonna back out when he's walking around in the bunker he's gonna tell you to accept the alerts okay so he's starting a job right now um, I'm getting ready to join him once he's in the job I'm gonna get on the first alert all right so I'm going to get on the first alert, and then once I'm on this alert, I'm going to tell him, okay, I'm on the first alert, you can go ahead and back out. Once he backs out, um, I'm simply going to go ahead and accept the alerts, and I should not go in the clouds, okay? As you can see, I got unable to connect to session, and we are still here. We did not go up in the clouds, and that is 100% what we want, all right? So from here, um, this glitch is really easy, guys. Those two friends that were helping you are just going to pull your car in for you, okay? So the whole time, you're just waiting for your car, basically, and it's really easy. Uh, the car takes about one minute to go in after you're glitched out like this, so make sure you guys definitely drop 150 likes if you haven't yet, and definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new, all right? Alright, so your friends just want to go outside and they want to leave you in the bunker, okay? This is what your friends are going to be doing outside with the car that you're going to be receiving, okay? So I'm in the bunker, I'm waiting for my car, my friends are outside doing this, okay? Now, um, if you guys want to go ahead and pull this new car in, you guys both have to get in the car at the same time. Um, it's kind of weird because it will put the passenger in the gun. Um, so if you guys want to give away this new car to your friends, make sure you guys both get in the car at the same time. And that will make it to where you guys can pull this in the bunker, okay? Now, once you guys both get in the car at the same time, um, if it's just a regular car, you guys don't have to do that. But with this truck, you both have to get in at the same time. That's the only way to both get in the front. 
All right, so now once you're at this point, uh, you just want to open your interaction menu and make sure you have a rocket launcher and rocket launcher ammo for when you get out of your car, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to press circle and then triangle, and then once you press circle and then triangle, you're going to get out immediately, and you're going to go blow yourself up. Once you blow yourself up, you're going to press pause, you're going to go to the PlayStation Store immediately, and you're going to stay on the PlayStation Store. This is keeping you from spawning back from death. That is keeping your car in the bunker, okay? So if you stay on these PlayStation Shark cards, um, your friend will then see the car in the bunker, and he will be able to receive it. But if you don't, if you don't stay on these Shark cards, um, the car will get kicked out of the bunker, and it will get returned to storage. All right. So this is what my friend sees when I do this. All right. So I'm on the Shark cards right now. Um, that is what my friend just saw when I pulled in the car for him. And basically what he's going to be doing is he's going to be getting in the car and he's going to get sucked into the MLC. It's that easy, guys. So make sure you guys definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit post notifications to get notified on when I upload future GTA 5 online videos like this. But for now, this is your boy Celeste. I'm out of here, bros.